this episode, I want to talk about a surprise I saw in the People Tools 858 Highlight Reel. This new feature is described as Oracle Jet Timelines. First, what is it? The new Oracle Jet Timeline feature allows us to represent time series data in a visual manner. Let me share an example. I'm logged into PeopleSoft HCM and am reviewing job data. Job data contains employment records, one row for each employment action from hire to separation. Now these actions occur over time. It would be nice to visualize these actions on a timeline. For example, here I am viewing Roberta Jordan's employment record. I can see from this page that Roberta was terminated on December 31st of 1999. But when was she hired? And what happened between hire and separation? By plotting Roberta's employment actions on a timeline, I can easily understand her total employment picture. Now, the ability to use Oracle Jet components and visualizations is not new. We have been able to add Oracle Jet timelines to PeopleSoft since Oracle Jet created timeline visualizations. The PeopleSoft user experience, after all, is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, which means we can use pretty much anything, anywhere. What PeopleSoft announced with the highlight reel is support for the timeline feature within a page chart area, meaning people code support, or we might say PeopleSoft wrapper around the Oracle Jet timeline visualization. In this episode, I want to talk about the infrastructure that enables timelines. A good understanding of the infrastructure will help us determine how to use Oracle Jet with any People Tools release. First, what is Oracle Jet? Oracle Jet is a collection of JavaScript libraries and components that product development teams use to build web-based applications. Oracle Jet started as a common set of JavaScript libraries such as RequireJS for dependency management, Knockout for two-way data binding, and jQuery. To this foundation, the Jet team added several of their own components such as collections, controls, layout and navigation, and most importantly, visualizations. Many of Oracle's cloud products and offerings are built with Oracle Jet. A few People Tools releases ago, PeopleSoft swapped its internal charting engine for Oracle Jet, bundling Jet with People Tools. We can see the bundled version of Jet within our PeopleSoft web server files. Now, Jet has been around for a little while, so I'm curious, what version is installed on my PeopleTools 857 web server? Let's list the package.json file to view the version number. I can see that we're using version 4. Now, the current version is 8, so it appears that my PeopleTools release is a little behind in Jet versions. Now, is that a problem? That's a great question. The Oracle Jet documentation site includes a recipe book of examples. We may use those examples as long as they are relevant to our Oracle Jet release. At some point, the bundled version may become so old it no longer matches the documentation. Now, the benefit of the bundled version is distribution. We don't have to download or deploy new content. So what if you want to use Oracle Jet, but your PeopleTools version is too old to include Oracle Jet, or the PeopleTools Jet version is outdated? We can download directly from Oracle Jet's GitHub repository, but the simplest method is to download the library zip file and then migrate its contents to a web server. The PeopleSoft web server seems like a reasonable target, but we don't have to host external libraries on a PeopleSoft server. In fact, an internal CDN or purchased CDN is a far better option. Now, the next step is to create a RequireJS configuration. Oracle Jet uses RequireJS for dependency management. This is great. Our infrastructure is ready. The next step is to create a data source and render our visualization. But let's save that for another episode. So in this episode, 
we referenced several publicly available sites and have added links to those sites to the show notes. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.